Welcome to Late to the Show. I'm your host, Prophet74, and today I'm going to bring the Esperon 5675 AMD system. Now, you guys are talking to AMD, Intel, you know, it's a big difference, but this Inspiron, it's a workhorse for all you gamers out there. Um, this one has a Ryzen 7 1700 processor, really good processor. Now, it has an 8 gig memory, it has one terabyte SATA drive, it's 72 RPMs, all right? It's not a SSD hard drive. It's not a solid state hard drive. It's 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 a it's a freaking spinning wheel. So it, it's what you get for the price that you're gonna uh, I'm gonna talk about. So on top of it, it's not just the machine. It's the machine. It has an AMD Radeon RX 580. It's an 8 gig video card. So it is a competitor. The 8 gig video card. It's a competitor to one of these. This is an 8 gig video card. This is an 8 gig video card. So let me talk a little bit more about it. It's a Radeon. Um, it's pretty, it's an AMD video card, 8 gig. It's VR ready. It's been proved ready. It's gaming ready. Um, the cost of the machine is $1,099. It's, it's pretty cheap, pretty decent. Now, it has audio, a 7.1 HD audio surround sound. So you set up these systems in here. Oh man, they're gonna sound clear especially gaming. Now, media card, it has a media card reader right in front of it. I'm gonna show a little demo on it. Uh, it has one type C connection for all you, you uh, new Samsung Galaxy 7 or 8 uh, provider guys that you wanna plug in. It's perfect, you plug in. It has two 3.1 um, uh, USB right in front of the system and it has four in the back. And it has two regular USB systems. So on top of that, you get the media card reader and not only that, it comes with a built-in wireless and Bluetooth, and it has a, for all your old timers that still want a CD player, it does have a dual DVD burner on top of that. So let's talk a little bit more about the system performance. Now, the system, it's not stocked up. It's something you probably have to maintain and add more to it to make it to your liking. First of all, I'm going to open this machine up. We're going to talk a little bit more in depth and what would I do to get it to a point where you want to be stable enough and play these awesome games online or, or any graphical games. Or not only that, if you want to work on certain things like 3D programs, Unreal Engine, Unity and stuff like that, you can do that in this machine. It's re it's a good, really good horse, a workhorse. Now, on top of that, the machine has a nice, really slick look. It's all plastic, of course. Now, metal pieces here and there, but it's mostly pr plastic. Now, when you turn this sucker on, it all turns blue. So we'll turn it on too. So stick around and let's go ahead and bring that camera closer so you guys can take a look. All right, let's talk a little bit about the inside. So I just opened the machine. Very simple to open. It has two screws on the side and you pull it back and the whole slot comes out. So we're not gonna do a benchmark today. I'm just gonna open it up and see what's inside and what you get, what you expect to get when you buy this machine. Now, first of all, when you buy this machine, there is a SATA drive here, right in the corner. It's one terabyte. It's, like I said, it's not an SSD, but you have an option. Now, on the motherboard itself, there is a slot for an SSD right there in this little corner right here, SSD, right next to the WAM wireless Bluetooth card. So the wireless card, has a little wire running all the way to the top so you can get that wireless internet in case you don't have a plug-in if you're not near a connection you can also plug it in now it does have a little work point fan here um, thing I would probably change would probably add a reservoir of water um, a cool water cooling system less noisy you know eliminate some of the fans especially this noisy fans because after a while dust is gonna settle in here and start you'll start hearing it after a while so it does have another option to add another 8 gig on top of it. There's only one slot, there's two slots, but one is uh, occupied by the 8 gig, of course. The other one, the other slot, you fit in right here. Now, let's go back to the video card. The video card is the most important part on this system. The video card is a Radeon, it's a 580, of course. It takes more than half of the freaking size of the computer. But, you know, these workhorses, these work Radeons are awesome to have. Now, if you end up buying another one, you, just to let you know, that this machine here will not contain another one. You can't, unless you do two things. You upgrade the actual power adapter in here because there's only one power connection and 
there's not that much room for the secondary card, which is pretty slim. It's, they're going to be hitting back to back, and not enough air is going to be hitting in throw. So if you want to add in secondary card, not on this machine. I don't recommend it. It's, they're very close. They do have the support for it. They come with the support bracket here, so you can strip off cards in here. But the car needs a little bit more than one inch of sp half an inch of space which pretty much you're gonna get this much of space which is not enough for the car to breathe be it taking any air intake uh, the fans are located on the top of the system and they pretty much are blocked out here and it's gonna be hitting some of the fraction it's gonna be taking hot air from the secondary cart so maybe you want to get a bigger spacing or another motherboard on top of that so my recommendation is if you buy this machine, it's a really good machine. The only thing I would do is upgrade the secondary memory card. I would add another 8 gigs on top of it to make it 16. I would buy the SSD 200 or 500 um, gigs of, mem of hard drive here just so it could run way faster than this. The secondary hard, the hard drive, I would contain it as a secondary drive. So I'll run the OS on my SSD card and run the actual um, application on the SSD card but store everything on the actual hard drive. Now, like I said, if you want to get a reservoir, you're going to have to do two things. You're going to have to upgrade this power. The power is not enough for the reservoir because it's going to need another connection for another CPU fan. Now, there's one connection here, but it won't reach. If you notice, it's real close by. So, one bad thing about this is it's hard to upgrade. I mean, if you want to get to a point where you actually going to be happy for quite a while and get an extra reservoir, like I said, the CPU cannot be um, upgraded with the reservoir um, because it's <laughs> the brackets itself is going to be hitting the top. You need a lot of slot. In fact, when you buy the freaking uh, CPU um, reservoir for the water cooling system, it's a little large. There's no room for it at all unless you buy the single intake right here. But it seems like it's very slim, very slow to, to set up. I mean, there's not enough room for anything else. So, <laughs> other than upgrade, I would just do the memory, the hard drive, and that's about it, and have it ready to go. But if you want to continue adding to the system, you need an another case. This case is too small for just to retain this kind of um, structure in here. But overall, the system looks well made, well cable. It's all nice and neat and everything. And uh, I'm going to turn it on so you guys can see it and how quiet it is running full running potential i'm not going to do a benchmark today but if you want me to do it let me know put it in your comments and i'll definitely do a, a workbench around this system so right now let's just take a look how quiet it is with the fans run and actually the case is going to be open so you guys can hear it all right so stick around so here we are we just turned it on it's really quiet really smooth uh, you're not going to hear the audio of the video, I mean the video card uh, fan on right now because you got to be playing these high-end video games just so you can hear something or rendering something. Um, it's really quiet, it's really neat. The lighting on the, on the inside lights up and it actually lights up the whole tower itself. So it is pretty neat. I mean I'm going to step back a little bit. Really quiet. I could see this system sitting underneath my desk. Um, running at this uh, this quality. I, I mean, it's it sounds like a really awesome machine uh, Other than that, I would just keep upgrading it, but it's a really quiet machine Let's take a look a little bit more in depth now another thing I forgot to mention now that we're here There's these slots in here for the SATA drives There's one two three three of them available So that means you could add three additional connections. It could be three hard drives, but there's only two slots in here There's one two but you could actually hang maybe an extra hard drive on the top of it where the CD player is. The CD player doesn't take that much space because it's a it's an actual laptop CD player that's connected to it. It's a SATA connection too. Now it goes all around and on the top of it the wireless actually goes all the way to the top of the system itself. So really neat machine. Really quiet. Really smooth. Uh, like I said the only thing I would probably add to this is a SATA drive and um, an extra memory. But other than that, it's out of the box. It's ready to go. So, let me know what you guys think. The Enspron 5675 AMD system, it's really quiet. Um, Gaming-wise, it's out of the box. It's ready to go, ready to run. Um, if you want to add additional speed, more of a kick, like I said, an SSD drive, 
an extra memory chip, maybe eight gigs to make the 16. And overall, out of the box, it looks like it's a great machine to run. I mean, my recommendation is high. I love these kind of machines. If you're into the market and you have a budget of $1,000, this is your baby right here. I mean, you want to get up and go. It's something that you just open it up, ready to go, set up and forget it. So this is it. Um, the keyboard mouse, they're simple, basic. They're not wireless. They're just basic cable. It, now, the motherboard itself, if you have the old school keyboards with the PS, PS2, the P2 connection, it does have a slot in the back of it. So I'll show a picture of it too. Other than that, power, you have an additional power for one hard drive. Just to mention one more additional hard drive if you, like i said the power in here it's 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 the only thing i would probably replace too because it the connections on the power surge itself it won't fit anything other than one extra hard drive and that's about it pretty much secondary hard uh, secondary video card it's not accessible i mean you will have to like i said upgrade the power itself just so you can have the extra connection um, the space in there for a secondary video card, it's not recommended. It's really tight in quarters, and uh, and then if you it's going to produce more heat when they're really tight close to each other. So, other than that, I mean, great machine just to go out there and start playing these games and getting uh, rendering. You, you if you're if you're a game designer, this is a perfect machine too. But you are going to get need that extra memory. So, it comes with an eight gig. If you want higher end, you're going to have to start with. 16 gig 16 gig to make the 32 you know but for now you could do the 8 8 all right make it to the 16 so it, it's overall it's awesome machine so if you have any questions or any comments uh please put them out and don't forget to subscribe to late to the show i'm your host prophet 74 out